Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss what is concept learning task, how to represent concept space, hypothesis space and distinct hypothesis space with a simple numerical example. Let us assume that we have been given some set of data. In this case, uh, we were given four examples with uh, six attributes that is uh, sky, air temperature, humidity, wind, water and forecast and enjoy sport is the target label in this case. Given this particular data, we want to know when a particular person will enjoy this particular sport and when he will not enjoy. So, so given this particular problem, we need to induce a general function from this particular training examples which will represent all these particular examples over here. That is nothing but uh, concept learning can be formulated as a problem of searching through the predefined space of potential solutions or the hypothesis for the hypothesis that best fits the training examples. So we need to go with uh, the predefined set of uh, potential hypothesis and then we need to identify one hypothesis which will fit to this particular training examples in this case. So that can be formally defined something like this. Concept learning is a task of acquiring potential hypothesis that best fits the given training examples. So that can be represented something like this. You can say that uh, these dots represent the possible or the potential uh, solutions. We need to start at one hypothesis and then we need to go on searching for from this uh, particular hypothesis unless and until we will get one hypothesis which will represent those particular examples or you can say that the hypothesis will classify those examples correctly in that case. So that is nothing but the concept learning in this case. Now let us take the, uh, this example uh, and then try to represent uh, the all possible instances or you can say that uh, the concepts over here because uh, in this case we have been given only four but uh, before we go and try to identify the potential hypothesis first we need to know how how many possible instances or the concepts are possible here. So for that reason the uh, very first thing we need to know is uh, what are the possible values for each and every attribute. For this particular sky, in this case, we have been given three values, sunny, cloudy and rainy. For air temperature, we have been given warm and cold. Humidity, we have been given normal and high. Wind, strong and weak. Water, warm and cool. Forecast, same and change in this case. So given these attribute values, we need to represent how many possible concepts are there. Once you know the number of concepts, then you can go with the number of uh, hypothesis uh, for this particular example. Now, if you want to represent the hypothesis uh, along with those particular possibilities, we need to consider two more. That's the first one is question mark and second one is null in this case. So question mark means it will accept anything and everything. Null means it will not accept anything. If I write uh, the warm at that particular place means it will accept only warm. If I write rainy, it will accept only rainy in that particular case. So uh, we will take a very simple example again to understand how to write all possible concepts as well as hypothesis. Uh, let us say that we have only two features like uh, f1 and f2. The possible values for f1 is a and b. The possible values for f2 is x and y. Now if you have this particular thing, the set of possible examples or the concepts is something like this one. We can uh, have one uh, instance or a concept like uh, ax, ay, second one is ay, third one is bx and fourth one is by in this case. These are the four possible instances or the concepts over here. Now these are the four uh, instances, while writing the hypothesis space along with these particular possible values we need to consider question mark as well as null in this case. So if I have question mark and null for these two things, we will get ax, ay, a question mark and a null. So that is what I have written here, bx, by, b question mark and b null, those are the four possibilities. Continuing with next one that is null x, null y, null question mark, null, uh, null. And then question mark x, question mark y, question mark null and question mark, question mark over here. So totally how many we will get in that case, we will get 16 here. Now how did you got this particular 4 is, number of uh, possibilities for f1 is 2, number of possibilities for f2 is 2, 2 into 2 is equal to 4 here. If I add question mark and null, question mark and null over here, it will become 4 and 4, 4 into 4 is equal to 16 here. But one thing you can notice here, in our instance space, we don't have any nulls here. So if you have a null in hypothesis space, the meaning is that is actually not possible. 
having null in hypothesis space is not possible because we don't have anything in uh, instance space here so rather than writing this particular uh, nulls uh, over here we will take one representation of null and then we will remove the remaining things so one two three four five six seven so totally seven null hypothesis are there we will remove those seven and then we will have only one representation among them so we will have uh, only null null at this particular piece so out of seven 16 we have removed seven it will become nine and then we have added one here it will become 10 in this case now from this particular thing how to get that one so here uh, we have uh, uh, two possibilities already we will consider question mark here and then we will consider question mark so 3 into 3 is equal to 9 and with respect to, to null we have one more possibility that is null null the total number of uh, uh, syntactically distinct hypothesis in this case are we uh, can say that uh, 10 over here now similarly we have to do it for our example so sky has how many possibilities three possibilities and air temperature humidity wind water and forecast have two two possibilities so total number of instances are we can say that 96 it is not possible to write uh, 96 uh, in a finite time so that's the reason i have taken this example you can write it it's not that it, it, it cannot be written it is difficult to write all 96 possibilities so that's the reason to convince you people i have taken this example similarly we need to get uh, the possible hypothesis space uh, hypothesis space while calculating what i need to do i have to add two to everywhere that is two here two here two here and everywhere we need to add two so it will become 5120 number of hypothesis possible for the given example in this case now uh, if we consider uh, the distinct hypothesis and if you calculate it you will get 973 you do it by yourself now uh, we understood how to write the concept space as well as the hypothesis space the next thing is uh, we will uh, the the main task over here is now we have understood how to write a concept space as well as hypothesis space but the main task of concept learning is to find one hypothesis which will represent this particular set of examples so that's the main task over here so that is a searching problem we have to go with uh, one and one by one hypothesis here so totally how many are there totally we have 5120 so we need to start with one hypothesis at a time and then we need to write it so i will consider first hypothesis something like this sunny warm normal strong warm same here so if if you look at this particular thing this one will match with exactly the first uh, uh, instance the meaning of this one is the first one is classified as yes and the expected is also yes over here but if you look at this uh, the same hypothesis for the second example sunny warm will match here but a normal and high will not match no match means it will be classified as no but what is expected here yes here so this cannot represent all examples so i will consider one more hypothesis that is rainy warm high strong warm and same again if you look at this one rainy will not match with sunny because there is no match it will be classified as uh, no but what is expected is yes here again this cannot represent all examples if i take one more again this rainy will not match here so it will be classified as negative but expected is yes here so all these three hypotheses will not represent all the examples the same process has to be followed unless and until we get one solution so that is a very tedious task in this particular case to avoid that particular thing we usually use two algorithms the first one is something called as uh, find s second one is candidate elimination algorithm in that case I have solved a lot of examples on these two uh, algorithms. The link for those examples is given in the description below. I will write one uh, possible hypothesis which will represent all these examples is this one. Sunny will match uh, uh, in the first case, second case and the fourth case. Third case it will not match. If it doesn't match also, uh, this will be classified as negative and we are expecting negative here. So that's perfectly fine. Here warm, warm will match, here also it will match there is no match here that's perfectly fine and uh, the question mark will match with normal high high and high here similarly strong will match with all these things question mark will match with all these things question mark will match with all these things all the examples will be classified correctly with respect to this hypothesis i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching